Hi, Boo Boo. Hi. Right? Are you want a vlog? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Boo We're going to our dad's house today. Yeah. So the kids are going to their dad's house, but they're coming right back. Angel's coming right back tomorrow because you are because you need to get your hair done because you have dance competition. So we've already flat ironed her hair and it's so beautiful. I did not want to flat iron it and put any heat to it, but we do protein treatments. We keep up on our treatments, so she's good. Um, I flat on her hair today and tomorrow we, it's gonna it's just gonna make it easier for when we um, get ready tomorrow for your dance. That's the reason why I fly on your hair. But mommy got to do your makeup. We're going to have fun this weekend. Even though you're going to be with daddy, you still got dance competition, right? I'm going back right in. Um, right him. after dance competition, you're going back with him, yes. All right, we out of here. We out. The kiddos is out of here. Out. All right, y'all. Oh, we coming this way. Now listen, what's the rules when you go outside? Zip your coat up and cover your ears. Yes, it's very cold outside. I'm so proud of you guys. Look at their reward chart. All these stickers this week. <laughs> And I'm, I'm very self-aware to be able to even say this right now. And it's not because I just broke up with my boy. It is because I just broke up with him. Um, but it's not. If, okay, so... It's what I just realized. I was fine. I was fine with ending things with him because... I would much rather end things when I see that it's not going anywhere, when I see any red flags or, I mean, hell, if you see red flags within me, let me know so we can move on. I love the gift of goodbye. I have mastered the gift of goodbye. So I know how to cherish the time we spent together and I know how to thank God for your purpose in my life. And I'm so grateful for him so grateful for him but the part I can't believe I'm pulling up to eat I'm about to eat so unhealthy right now I really got to get a hold of that like why is it that we emotionally eat I never eat this late yet here I am because I just realized as hard as I work, I still ended up being attracted to being attracted to someone who was an avoid was an avoided. So I've been working so hard to be a secure attachment style. And, um, yeah, secure attachment style, you attract secure people. The only people that attract avoidance and anybody like, you know, it's, it's not about really attracting as far as physical looks, but it's about you can't let them go type of thing. The, peop the two main people that go together very well is avoidance and uh, anxious preoccupied. I, I, you, I thought I, I, I was anxious pre pre anxiously preoccupied and I thought that I thought that I was okay now. Hold on. So over the past years, I've worked so hard to be to to be a secure attachment style. I didn't want to be anxiously preoccupied. And I worked so hard. I worked so hard. 
And there was no way that I was attracting an avoidant ever again in my life. And if you do attract them, it's easy to let them go, right? Well, this particular guy, he just, he seemed too good to be true. He seemed perfect. We were into the same things. I admire him because he was so confident, didn't care what nobody think. And I still struggle in that area. Thank you. You too. I still struggle in that area. And I love that about him. He, he don't care. He is going to be who he is no matter what. He's just so confident. And I was so attracted to that. I was attracted to, you could tell the things he did for me, he doesn't do on an everyday basis. Not saying he's never did it for nobody else, but the things he did to me, did for me on his own, which was like small things. I guess I'll cut the light on so y'all can see. Which was like, it was small things. I'm not saying like he paid my rent or something or like, I'm not into, I don't, I don't, we ain't gonna get all into that. But it was a small gestures that he did that really tugged at my heart. The conversations we had, great, deep conversations. Um, so we went back and forth a lot. Just trying to learn each other more and just not giving up but so this for this so this last time we made the decision to move on simply because long story short he's an avoidant he avoids intimacy he avoids love he uh, he avoids anything natural like it's it, it's natural you know we're all humans whether you're a man woman dog <laughs> whether you're a man or a woman you're gonna have those feelings for somebody and you shouldn't avoid those feelings because it, it causes a lot more problems. And that's kind of where we end it, is the avoidant part. Um, and it, it really made me upset to think about the person that I kept going after, kept going after, kept letting my guard down for, giving excuses for, is and avoid it so that goes to show I'm not a secure attachment style and I want to be I want to be I thought that I was I worked so hard and I did so good I thought and my counselor always says you never know if you're ready until you're in it you know there's no way to know if you pass the test until you're taking that test you gotta see and I'm not okay because I'm just not okay. I'm being very, 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 very vulnerable, not transparent with you guys. So I look a mess. I was about to get in the shower, which is why my hair is wrapped up. So I don't know. I'm probably going to remake this video when I'm looking a bit, a little more presentable, but uh yeah my father my father was a um avoidant with me as a child he was avoided with me and so um by the help of my counselor i realized that i attract to men who are avoidance and those are the ones that get my heart those are the ones that they give me a sense of security because it's a nostalgia thing for me I'm addicted to that feeling of chasing and avoiding. Um, and it blew, it blew my mind back. I'm sitting here and I'm like, again? <laughs> again? I, I, I really thought that I was no longer attracted to avoidance. And honestly, I couldn't tell that he was an avoidant. But it blows my mind just looking back at everything that I blinded my eyes to. 
he was an avoidant from day one. And I didn't pay attention. And like I said, I'm grateful for him. Very great person, very great father. And, uh, but he's not a good match for me because simply because he's an avoidant. But it, it literally just hit me now. I mean, it's over with, we're done. But I, I still cannot believe that, that I worked so hard to have a secure attachment style, but all along I was attracted to an avoidant anyways. So yeah, this, this healing journey, this self-love journey, it's a long road. It's a long road. And I feel like I have I have a long road ahead of me still. But it's okay because I feel like this is why dating is important. You get to see yourself through everybody's eyes and everybody is a mirror to you and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. And the way I be manifesting stuff, but I definitely want to get that under control. So it's time to refocus and shift, shift that energy back onto myself, pour into myself, get in my bag and, and lift me back up because that's, that's what it turns into. You end up sacrificing yourself for other people and you do it so naturally because that's all you're used to as a child you're like literally a plus with it like you do it in your sleep almost and that's not good and I do want to get to a place one day where I'm actually married but I don't want to be married as a anxiously preoccupied wife with a avoidant husband and I'm playing the cat chase mouse game i i want something healthy but first you know you gotta you gotta focus on yourself first and enjoy being by yourself and i think that's my favorite part about being single is i could sit with myself i i don't have to answer to nobody i don't have to ask nobody to do anything can we can we start saving this can we get the kids in this I don't have to do none of that. And I love that for me. I love that I can come home, lay in my bed, cut a movie on, watch a true crime, edit a true crime. I could do whatever I want. And I got kid free weekends every other weekend. It'd be the it'd be the perfect amount not seeing my kids. And as soon as I start missing them, it's time for them to come home. It's only about two, four days of them being gone. So I love my life right now. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush. I can definitely sit with myself and enjoy my own company. I absolutely love it. And I don't want to be married one day and then look back like, dang, was I single long enough? And wish that I could go back to this life, you know? So I'm just enjoying it now because I know that God created me to be a wife. I know that I am beautiful and I bring so much to the table emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, and anybody would love to have me if they saw my worth everybody be fighting over me so i'm just glad that god has all these uh god has their eyes blinded their eyes covered so i could just enjoy this me time 